So I mentioned in my last video that I wouldn't do another alternative off file linked until I felt it was ready for you to spend your time on because the last thing you want to do is spend hours configuring your app store only then to find out that your store has been wiped or your code doesn't work or things are just not functioning properly. Well, today I spoke to the developer of this application and I can now tell you that if you do want to create your store with this application, is now perfectly safe to do so because the real issue before with the stores disappearing has now been resolved because he's now rewritten the code for your stores it just makes them universal so even if he wants to add some features or take away features from the application none of that will actually affect your stores or your application so it just makes the application safer to use now as a demonstration he created my own store code which has the number I mean, in an emergency, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters? No, you're going to call 911. I can now click on Submit. And we now have access to all of these applications which are available on my uh, test store. Anything I want to install, so let's go for this one over here. I click on that. Instant download that comes to my device and I can now install that. So in this video today, let me now give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can create your own AppLink store. And once again, share your favorite applications with your friends, family, or even customers. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're started. new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to start this process, open up your favorite browser and just navigate to this website and I will leave a link in the video description. Now you have the option here to register for an account or to sign in. Now for your new users to create your new store, click on register. So the first thing you want to do is just enter in a username. So I'm going to go for uh, TDUK2021. Enter in a valid email. So let's just go for this one here and enter in a password and click on register. And you'll then get a confirmation email telling you that your store is now ready to use. Now let's click on OK. I can now click on sign in. And let me now sign in with those credentials. So TDUK and the password and we are now logged into our brand new store. Now in terms of functionality, we can add applications to our store, we can add in custom logos, and we can also remove applications from our store. Now the way we do that, if I click on add application, and we now have four fields that we need to fill out. So let's start with the application title. So the first thing I'm going to do is just a 2B TV. So let's just type in 2B TV description. Uh, let's just write in great app to great app for movies. Now the external link means that it needs to be accessible from the internet. There shouldn't be any kind of passwords or prompts or anything like that. As soon as you click on this link, this should then download the application directly to your device. Now I'm sure you guys already have your own online repositories. Maybe some of you use Dropbox or Google Drive. Basically wherever you can host your applications online, you now need to provide the link to your applications. Now in my example, I'm going to use archive.org because it's completely free. It doesn't have any kind of storage restrictions. And even if you don't want to host applications yourself, you really can find pretty much any application on there. So if I just go over to archive.org and here we can see on the homepage, we actually have a dedicated section for applications with more than 71,000 applications to, to use. Now, as you can see, we do have a very large library. So for us to find something, uh, let's just search for 2B TV. I can now search for that. And let's just go for the first link. We can see that's from May 21. Let's click on that. And what you're looking for specifically here is that external link. So if I go down, we can actually see there's the Android package file, which is the APK file. And we also have a link to the picture. So we can actually use both of them. So the first thing I'm going to click on here is do a right click and select copy link. I'm now going to go back to app linked. I'm now going to paste in that external link. And we can see it does actually end with APK. Now let's do the same thing for the external image link. Let's go back. Let's now copy the link for the PNG file. Click on copy. Let's go back and let's now paste that in. Let's click on submit. And we now get the message that the application has been added to our store. So let's click on OK. And we now see on the homepage for my store, 
we get to see the logo for the application and we now have the download button for it. And of course I can also remove the application from my store. As a quick test, if I click on that, we can see straight away, we get the option to download that. Okay, let's cancel that. Let's just add in one more application for a test. And let's say for example, we're looking for the mouse toggle. So let's type in mouse toggle for Fire TV description. Uh, let's type in mouse toggle again. Let's go back to archive.org and say we're now searching for the mouse toggle. Now in my demonstration, I'm just searching for applications that other people have already placed online. But of course you can create your own archive store and you can then upload your own specific exact applications, exact versions, basically the applications that you want to share, you can then upload them to your archive store and then link that through AppLinked. But again, in this time, I'm just gonna search for stuff that's already online. So I'm just searching for mouse toggle. Let's go for this one over here. Let's click on that. Scroll down. Here's the application installation file. Let's copy that. Let's go back to AppLinked and let's now paste that as the app external link. That's done. And for the image, and let's go back here. Let's see if any of these actually have an image that we can use. Here we go. So I can now uh, click on this. I think this one looks nice actually. Let's click on this one here. Scroll down and here we can see the image file. I can now copy that out, copy link, go back to app linked and paste that in. Click on submit. And just like that, we now have two applications with their logos in my temporary app store. Now if I actually start the app linked application, so to get the latest version of this application as of the 30th of June, just open up downloader and we're now going to make a connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or we can type in the short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on go. And this will take you directly to my website. Now, when you get to my website, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines, and then click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how to get the latest version of app linked on all of your devices. So let's open that up. Here we are. So here's some information about the application. And underneath all of that, we should have a single link for the application. Here it is. So I can now click on that, scroll down and click on the green download button. And this will download file linked directly onto your device. And I can now enter in the brand new code that I was given when I just created this test account which is that one there. So not very easy to remember, but the great thing is you can select this option here, which is to remember the code. Let's click on submit. And there we are guys. So just like that, we now have two applications in my store, which I can access from any Android device. And anything I want to install, I can click on that. So do you want to install the mouse toggle? Let's go for download. And in a couple of seconds, that's now being pulled from archive.org and being pushed directly onto my device and I can now install that. Now, one of the other great features that are coming with this application is the ability to have custom store code. So once you registered for your account, you can actually change your store code to another number as long as nobody else is using it. On top of that, one of the other great features coming down the line is the ability to search your store. So, I mean, in my example, I only have a couple of applications, but you can see once you start having 30 or 40 or 50 applications, it would be great if we could actually search for that at the top and that feature is also coming with this application. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. And as I said at the start of this video, as he's now made the change to the code for this application, it does mean that you can now safely create your stores without any risk of them being wiped out. So really do appreciate your support. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about this application. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.